Hello there. Welcome to the classroom. Do you know what I am? I am a butterfly. I can fly. Watch this. Whee! We have a whole episode about butterflies starting right now. That's right, we sure do. Hi, everybody. Welcome, it's nice to see you. Say hello to my butterfly friend. Hello, she's flying all over the place. <laughs> We're gonna be playing and exploring with butterflies today. Have you ever seen a butterfly before? Here it comes, woo. <laughs> butterflies are amazing creatures. I can't wait to share all the amazing things about butterflies with you. Oh, the butterfly's going by, say bye. Bye bye butterfly, see you later. <laughs> Well, let's say a big hello to all our friends in the classroom. Let's fly over here. Whee! And we'll wave a big hello to everybody. We can wave and say hello like we flap our wings like a butterfly. Let's try it. We'll clap our hands and stomp our feet and sing a big hello to everybody. Here we go. Let's wave. You know what? I have to fix something. It's a live show. I need to fix something here. So sorry, everybody. I want to make sure I can see all your comments and something was blocking it. Let's try again. Let's wave our hands. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? There we go. Can you stretch up high? Stretch up. Can you touch your toes? Can you turn around? Can you say hello? Hello, a big hello and very special thank you to Father Ologist and his son. They gave us one of the nicest shout outs on Instagram that we've ever had. Thank you so much. A big hello to Donatella from Argentina and class for you in Brazil, teaching lots of neat classes in Brazil. A big hello to Juan Esteban, who's three years old, Sarah Sheeran from India, Micah, Luke and Olivia from New York, Noah and Kara Alessa from Jamaica, Jewel from the UK, and Jude from Jordan. A big hello. Let's get ready to stomp our feet, everybody. Here we go. Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Hello, hello. Can you stomp your feet? Can you stretch up high? Stretch up. Can you touch your toes down low? Can you turn around? Spin. Can you say hello? Hello. A big hello to Hanin from Kuwait, Devin and Jason in Maine. Hello to Gustavo in Brazil. Nice to see you. And Madeline in Oakville, Talia in Dubai, Chloe from Trinidad. Elizabeth and Annie from Costa Rica, Ben and Harry from Scotland, David, Ava, Kieran and Costa, our friend Dante, David from Maryland, I'm so glad you're all here. Let's wave one more time, give a big wave. Hello, hello, can you clap your hands? Hello, hello, can you stomp your feet? Stomp, stomp, stomp. Nice job, a big hello to everybody watching. Thanks for being here, big wave to all of you. Now, let's get started with some fun butterfly stuff. Can you pretend to be a butterfly? Let's stretch out our wings. Beautiful, let's give them a big flap. Flap your wings like a butterfly. Beautiful wings. Now, butterflies have four wings. I didn't really know this before, but they do. There's two wings on top and two wings on the bottom for four wings. And one side is exactly the same as the other side. The wings are symmetrical. That means exactly the same on both sides. Let's take a look at some beautiful butterfly wings. Let's see. Look at this. This is one half of a butterfly's wing. What colors do you see? I see orange and black and some white and yellow dots. The other side of this butterfly's wings will be the exact same. It's symmetrical. 
Let's see if we can find a match. Hmm. I see Penelope was laughing. Let's see. Is this a match? Hmm, the other side I see pink and purple, yellow and red circles. But the other side is orange and black. It's not the same, so it can't be a match. They have to be the exact same. Mm -mm, no match here. <laughs> no, all our friends are saying, no, it's not. Nice job. Let's see if we can find the match, everybody. Let's try again. Scarlett Abigail said, no way, and Jude said, no. How about this? Is this a match? I see orange on both sides and black and the yellow and white dots. It looks the exact same. It's a match. Yay! Hooray, we found a match. The exact same, perfectly symmetrical. Let's take a look at another butterfly's wings. Ooh, look at these ones. What colors do you see here? There's blue and purple, beautiful. I think one of our friends said they like the blue and purple wings. These are really pretty. Let's see if we can find a match for these butterflies' wings. Hmm, is this a match? I see green and lots of circles with yellow and orange and red inside. And the other side is blue and purple. So could that be a match? Mm -mm, no way, those are totally different. Not a match at all, no. Caden says, not a match. Willow says, no. Let's keep looking. Gotta find the perfect match, the exact same. Hmm, how about this? Is this a match? On the other side, I see yellow, and it looks like a pinky purple, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very pretty, but is this a match? No, no match at all. Caitlin in Arizona say no. Ayomi says no. That's not a match. We gotta keep looking. Let's keep looking. Here it goes. Pull it up. What about this? Is this a match? There's blue and purple on both sides. It's a match. It's a perfect match. It's perfectly symmetrical. And it's really pretty, isn't it? That blue and purple. Very nice. Let's try and find one more butterfly's wings match. Let's take a look at another one. Look at these. These are some really pretty colors. What colors do you see? I see pink and yellow. Really pretty colors, aren't they? Let's see if we can find the perfect match to this butterfly's wings. Here we go. Ooh, where will it end up? Is this a match? What do you think? There's pink and yellow on both sides. Kira Rose and Jewel from the UK say yes. Talia says yes. Michael says yes. It's a match, everybody. Way to go. Hooray! We found so many perfect matches for our butterfly wings. Nice job. You got lots of the colors, too. Eli saw pink and yellow. Camilla and Carlos saw pink and yellow. Nicely done. Now we can make some of our own symmetrical butterfly wings. Perfectly symmetrical, the exact same, using some paint and paper. I'll show you. Come on over here. I have some paper here. That's nice and thick, so it's gonna hold all our paint. I have some paint colors, like the colors that we saw on the butterfly wings. Orange, purple, blue, and yellow. We saw all of these colors. Let me know what colors you like and we'll add them onto our butterfly wings that we're making. But to make them perfectly symmetrical, the exact same, we're gonna start by folding the paper in half, matching it up. Get those 
those corners matched up. And make a nice big crease. Then we'll fold it open. And we're gonna add paint to one side of the paper, like our one side of the butterfly wings. What colors should I use? How about blue? Let's start with some blue. I like the blue color, it's my favorite. Add some blue here. Some blue dots. Boop, 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 there we go. Samantha and Riley say purple. Scarlett and Abigail say purple. Purple's very popular. Okay, we'll add some purple paint. Lots of words that start with the letter P. Purple paint, please. <laughs> add some purple paint. I think these butterfly wings are gonna be beautiful. There we go. Talia likes purple too. And Isabella and Sarah, everyone say purple. Dante says purple. Cohen loves the blue. Okay, what other color should we use? Eden says yellow. Great idea. Let's add some yellow. Yellow like my apron. Yellow like the sun. Add a little bit of yellow here. Very nice. And I think we got some orange. Sky says orange, please. Here you go, Sky. Here's some orange. Eli likes orange too. Look at all these dots, so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna fold the paper over to make symmetrical butterfly wings. Here we go, we'll see what we've come up with. Fold it over like this. I'm gonna push down. Might just be really spotted. <laughs> push down like that. We'll open it up, let's see. Here it comes. Whoa, look at that. It's the exact same on both sides. The paint on the one side printed on the other side to make beautiful design. That's the exact same, look at that. Now once you let them dry, and you could try this at home, and your, your um, wings will look a lot different. They'll probably look a little bit different like these. I made a couple earlier get this paint out of the way. And they're all different, but they're all symmetrical, just like the butterfly wings. Let's take a look. Yeah, they're pretty, right? I'm glad you like it. Now we can pick one. I'm gonna pick this one up here to finish off our butterfly wings. So once it's all dry, you can fold it back over and use a pencil to draw half of the butterfly wings like this. There we go. Kind of looks like the top of a heart, doesn't it? And then we'll cut it out and finish up our butterfly. If you want to learn more about symmetry, we have a really great blog post up on our blog all about symmetry and butterflies. We have a link in the description below so you can check that out and learn all about how to be nice to butterflies and all about they're really neat symmetrical wings. Okay, here we go. We'll open it up. Ta-da! Very nice. Now I made a little butterfly body with some black construction paper and just gave these a little uh, twirl on a pencil. I'm gonna finish off our butterfly body. Pretty neat, right? Scarlet and Abigail love all the pretty colors. Put some glue here. We got some orange on this butterfly, Jude, do you see? Put it on. And there's our butterfly with beautiful symmetrical wings. I made some other ones too, take a look. And if you make some at home, make sure to share them on social media using the hashtag Katie's Classroom so we can see your beautiful butterfly wings. They'll be beautiful, but different, but perfectly symmetrical. There they are flying. <laughs> Nice. Now, did you know butterflies, they aren't born butterflies. They're not born butterflies at all, really. They start out as an egg. Then the egg becomes a caterpillar, and that caterpillar goes through metamorphosis to become a butterfly. Here, I'll show you what I mean using this purple scarf. Ta-da! Okay, 
So a caterpillar starts out as an egg, a small little egg like this. And it sits out on a leaf out there in the woods or in your garden. And then one day it hatches and then it is a caterpillar. Jude says it's a caterpillar, yeah. Here's a purple caterpillar with lots of little legs. They go around eating leaves. Yum, 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 yum. And then one day, they start to hang upside down and make a chrysalis. The chrysalis covers the whole caterpillar's body. And inside, the caterpillar is starting metamorphosis. That means it's changing into something else. And it becomes a butterfly and can fly around. Isn't that amazing? Well, how about I let our friend Milo explain it? He learned all about metamorphosis in school and then talked about it on his Monster School vlog. Very fancy. Let's hear what Milo has to say about metamorphosis. Take it away, Milo. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Milo, and, and welcome to my Monster School vlog, where I tell you all the neat stuff I learned in Monster School. Today, our teacher taught us something amazing, like, like, like super duper mind-blowing cool. <laughs> we learned about the life cycle of a butterfly. <gasps> you will not believe what happens. <gasps> Look at its cute little wings and its, its teeny tiny antenna. <gasps> antenna? Antennae. Uh, antennae? Antenna? Antenna! Antennae. Fly, butterfly, fly. Spread your wings and flap your way to glory. No, no, where are you going, butterfly? Come back. <laughs> My teacher let me take this poster of a butterfly's life cycle home so I could show you. <laughs> the life cycle goes like this. Number one, a butterfly lays an egg. <laughs> Hello, little egg. <laughs> Can you see it? Use your binoculars if you have to. <laughs> Number two, a caterpillar hatches. I am a caterpillar. I have lots of legs. I walk on the ground and I climb on plants. I like to eat plants too. They're super duper yummy. Number three, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis around its body. Chrysalis. Chrysalis, Christopher the creepy crawly caterpillar formed a chrysalis around a chrysanthemum on Christmas. <laughs> What's it doing in the chrysalis? Oh, good question. Having a snack or reading a story? Is he having a timeout? No. The caterpillar is going through metamorphosis. meta what? <laughs> metamorphosis. It means a change. <laughs> but what does a caterpillar change into? A robot? A pickle? An old shoe? <laughs> Ooh, stinky, no. A rainbow. I wish. But no. The answer is right here. Number four. The caterpillar changes into a butterfly. First, a butterfly lays an egg. Then, a caterpillar hatches from the egg. Next, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis. And last, the caterpillar changes into a butterfly. Wowee! <laughs> hey, there's another butterfly going through metamorphosis. This butterfly also lays an egg. And look, just like the first one, a caterpillar hatches from the egg. Now it's forming a chrysalis. 
And what happens next? You guessed it! The caterpillar changes into a butterfly! <laughs> well, that's too much confetti. That's, that's too much. Yay! We did it! We passed the test! We know all about a butterfly's life cycle! <laughs> is your mind blown? I know mine is. <laughs> So that's it for my Monster School vlog today. See you later, Monster Gators. <laughs> oh, 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 look how cute you are. I'm going to name you Biscuit. Doodly doo. Bye, Milo. Thank you so much for teaching us about metamorphosis. That's a pretty big word, isn't it? Eli says it's a fun word, metamorphosis. It sure is fun to say. And now we are metamorphosis experts. So let's see if we can put what Milo taught us into action. And can we put these in order of how metamorphosis works? So we have all different stages of metamorphosis here that we learned about from Milo. Butterfly, eggs, caterpillar, and chrysalis. Can we put them in order? What do you think comes first? Hmm. Is it the chrysalis? No. Is it the butterfly? No. What could it be? Oh, I remember. Is it the eggs? Yeah. Butterflies start out with Eggs. Yeah, they become little eggs. And then what's next? What comes after the egg? Oh, Cora said egg and Jude. Jude knows all about it. He has a book about the life of a butterfly. So after the egg, what happens next? Does it become a butterfly right away? No. What hatches out of the egg? It's the caterpillar. Come over here, caterpillar. The caterpillar comes next. Now what happens after the caterpillar hatches from the egg? Camilla knows all about metamorphosis. So what is it? Is it the chrysalis? That's it. Yeah, you got it. So the chrysalis is the next stage of metamorphosis. The caterpillar makes a chrysalis surrounding its body. And then what happens next, everybody? Kara Alyssa says, it's the butterfly, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, butterfly. There it is, all the stages of metamorphosis. Way to go, everybody. So nice. And our beautiful butterfly can fly around. So pretty. Let's make a butterfly with our hands. I'll show you how you can do it. It's like a little butterfly puppet. Make one hand like this, like you're giving a high five. Yeah, and the other hand, exactly the same, symmetrical. And then we flip them over them together like this to hook your thumbs and you have a beautiful butterfly can you try it get your butterfly flapping and flying all around oh one of my buttons fell off <laughs> i'll handle that later let's keep flapping our butterfly all over my butterfly is so strong butterflies very nice we make a butterfly like this in the song rock scissors paper Let's sing rock, scissors, paper all together, and you can let me know some other ideas you have to make things using rock, scissors, and paper. Yeah, let's try it. Let me know what you wanna make. Let's start with our butterfly like this. You can sing with me. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper, left hand, paper, put them together, and it's a butterfly. Make your butterfly fly all around. Fly, fly, says Jude. Nice. What else can we make? I have an idea. How about a crab? Let's try it. Here we go. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper, one, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors, left hand, scissors. Put them right up here like 
a crab. Pinch, 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 pinch. Can you make a crab? Nice job. Let's try something else. Kira Rose and Willow and Kara Lessa. Oh, Willow says a bunny. Okay, let's try. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors, left hand, scissors. How about little bunny ears? Hop, 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 hop. Nice job. Kara Lessa says ice cream. Let's try it. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors, left hand, rock. Put them together like this. And ice cream. Mmm, delicious. Mine's vanilla. Sky and Dante say helicopter. Okay, let's give it a go. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, paper, left hand, rock. Here it comes. A helicopter. Caden likes the helicopter too, nice job. I think I saw one of our friends said snail. That's one of my favorites, let's try it. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors, left hand, rock. Look at that, it's a snail. <laughs> nice job. What else can we do? Let's do a couple more. Hmm, I know one, how about a seesaw? Yeah, let's try making that. Rock, scissors, paper, rock, scissors, paper. One, two, three, play with me. Right hand, scissors, left hand, paper. Right on top like this. A seesaw, nice job, very good. Okay, let's try one more. Amaya says, a lion. Great idea, oh, Carolessa says, lion. Okay, I see a lot of oh no's. I hope you're. Okay, maybe we're back again. We're gonna keep trying everybody. We're sorry for all these hiccups. There's a lot of things happening with technology. Okay, let's take a look in the discovery bin, shall we? Now inside this discovery bin, we have a bunch of different butterflies. 